Today we are creating an artwork by drawing things from our imagination. We're going to add a colourful background to our artwork using foil printing. To make your artwork you will need a piece of paper, a waterproof or permanent marker, but you can use a pen if you don't have a permanent marker, some coloured textures that are not permanent and a spray bottle with some water in it. You'll also need some foil. Step one, use your permanent marker to draw some made up things from your imagination. I was inspired by the artist Paul Clay. He loved to use lots of lines and draw from his imagination. Step two, put some foil onto the table. I've used some scrap paper underneath to stop things getting too messy. It might also be a good idea to put an art smock on or some old clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. Step three, get out your textures and decide what colours you'll use. I went for cool colours today. Step four, start colouring onto your foil. And scribbles are fine. You can see that I'm changing my colours as I go and I kind of went for patches of colour. I tried to use each colour in different parts of the area where I plan to print. And now for the fun step, we're going to take our uh, water sprayer, our spray bottle, and in a moment we're going to spray lightly over this coloured area where we've coloured with our coloured textures. And then we're going to take our drawing on paper and we're going to print it. So we'll be printing it upside down. That's actually the back, even though you can see it, the, the text has come through to the back. We're going to be printing it down onto this colored wet surface and then peeling it up gently. And hopefully the colors will transfer or print onto this drawing that we did. So fingers crossed, let's hope it works. Here I go. I'm gonna gently spray the foil. Ooh, I can see the colors are starting to blend. That should do it. Ooh, exciting. A little bit of science and art coming together here. Now, very carefully, I have to do this carefully with two hands holding my page. I'm going to lower it down over the foil, over the colored part. Once it touches that surface, I don't want to wiggle it because I don't really want it to smudge too much. I'm going to give it a gentle rub around the outside. Oh, I can feel the paper's getting wet already. Um, make sure maybe that you wear some old clothes or you put an art smock on for this activity. I forgot to tell you that because it could get a little messy. Okay, now holding one corner, I'm going to peel it up. Ooh, wow. It's dripping wet, but can you see what it's become? It's beautiful. It almost looks like it's underwater now. That's cool. I can't wait to see what you guys create. You might decide on some different colors, so yours will look different to mine, but I'm really happy with how it looks. This corner didn't get much dye, but that doesn't matter. And I'm actually thinking I could probably, um, once this is dry, I might leave it out in the sun. I might um, get some colored pencils in similar cool colors, blues and greens and purples, and come in and do some coloring on there just to finish it off. Very fun. Well, have a great time making your artworks today great prep, and I can't wait to see what you create. Bye. If you haven't got a permanent marker at your house, um, so a permanent marker is one that um, won't smudge if it gets water on it. If you have not got one of these, some other choices are that you can use a, a biro pen. Usually biros are permanent. Um, otherwise, you can do the colouring part first where you print the colour onto your paper, then let the paper dry, and then the next day or once the paper's dry, you can draw over the top of it. Uh, and that's a, a way to work around it.